It's unfortunate, but it is the case. And I know you guys have seen it before. I was driving, and I keep hearing clink, clink, clink while I'm driving, right? I didn't think anything of it. Uh, one day, actually, uh, today, I was in the midst of uh, fixing another problem, and look, look what I found inside the uh, wheel, all right? Once I pull this out, unfortunately, um, all of the gas just leaks right out. Or all the air just leaks right out. So, if you guys don't already, I would always recommend you guys buying yourself a... Uh, tire repair kit, all right? I mean, they're, they're so dirt cheap. I think you could get as low as, as a small little set for like 10 bucks. I think this thing cost me 20, but because it has a pretty good case and it came with a lot of uh, these uh, fixing things. So he, here's the trick, right? So you find out where the hole is and you take this. This, you guarantee to actually make sure that when you poke, you poke through, you poke as low as you can because it makes it wide enough. If you go too thin, what happens is, is it's almost nearly impossible to try to fix the problem. So what you do is you take one of these, right, and you thread it to this through this needle head, right, and then hold it on to this. What you do is you push all the way down, all the way through, as far as you can. Um, the reason being is because you want this to go in at least halfway. So as you can see, it's this size, right? You bend it in half, so at least that much is already inside the wheel already. So once you do that, then you push this down, and then you push this down, then you push it out. And what that does is, right there, it'll, it'll release this um, repair thingy. So that way, half of it's inside, and half it's outside. Okay? Don't worry if it's sticking out, because while you're driving, you're gonna rip, you're gonna burn through this anyway. So it, it doesn't matter. A small chunk of it will still remain outside and inside, so it'll keep that intact. And then what, you, what I would recommend to make it faster is you take out the, um, the uh, valve, right? And then you connect in your um, air and you get all the way up to as far as you can. For this particular wheel, um, it's set to 51 PSI. So what I did was I, I, I blew it up to 45, okay? And then I take it out, put the valve back in, and then finish it off with 45, so now it's good to go. So what I want to do is I want to let it, I'm going to connect it back to the car, right? And then I'll just let it sit there for, I don't know, an hour or so because I, I, I'm going to go grab lunch, you know, stuff like that. Then afterwards, what I'll do is, is I'll go for a drive. Um, short distance, of course, just, just to make sure everything's all good. Chances are when I come back out and it's not flat, I, I'm in pretty good shape. But at least, guys, always get yourself one of these kits. It, it's It's... So I do this in my garage right now, but imagine if you're on the road, right, and uh, you got a flat tire. Um, either you can take out your spare, or maybe you don't have a spare, right? So at least this this will save you to, to get home and then uh, go from there. I mean, it's a lot better than uh, getting towed or, or doing any other work, okay? All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.